Hi, this is Mrs. Perry Ising with another tutorial. This time I'm going to talk to you about keyframing. Keyframing is when you have movement that you add to a still photograph or to a video. Uh, a fellow by the name of Ken Burns, a photographer and videographer, is the person who uh, suggested um, adding movement to make pictures more interesting if they were still pictures. And so using keyframing to do things like a slideshow in Final Cut is referred to as the Ken Burns effect. So up in my browser, I have imported a couple of photographs of my children. So let's say I want to take this picture of my son playing baseball, put it on my timeline. Let me just change the duration of my picture because I have it kind of short from the last project I was working on. So instead of making that eight frames there, let me make that into 10 seconds or so. If I have my picture on for a very short amount of time, my keyframing or my movement will go very fast. If I have my picture on for a long amount of time, like 10 seconds, then my keyframing or my movement will go very slow. Another thing before I get to keyframing this photograph, outside of changing the duration of how long the picture stays on for, which again, I right clicked on that and I went to duration to uh, change that. Uh, my picture up here in my canvas, notice I have the black bars on the left and right side because it doesn't fill up the parameters of the screen. I'm going to make that picture a little bit wider. Let me drag it down and then drag it into place so that it fills up my whole screen. So what I'm going to do to add movement to this picture is let me go back to the beginning and if I play it hitting the space bar, nothing happens. You notice the timeline is moving and the picture just stays there. So that can be considered boring. So to add movement, what you're going to do is you're going to come over to the canvas and, and the tools on the bottom right hand side of the canvas is one for a diamond that is to add uh, a motion keyframe. So what I'll do is before I hit that I'm going to say maybe I'll make this picture very large. I'll go zoom really far in on my son. Maybe I'll even go bigger than that and it's just there's no right or wrong answer. You just fool around with it till you get what you want. And there's more than one way to do this. This is just the way I do it. So let's say I'm, I'm zoomed in right there. So that's where I'm going to start. That's my starting point. So once I have my picture at my starting point, I'm going to hit the diamond tool or the keyframing tool. I click on it. Now in my timeline, I'm going to move to the end of my uh, picture. And I'm going to make my picture zoomed out now. Maybe get all those lights from the field back into my picture. So let me resize it. Notice I get this purple line. This is showing me that I'm, I'm adding movement. So let me bring this down again. And let me keep resizing it. It's a little bit of a tedious process. And so let's see how that's going to look now. All right, so now I've got the light in the background and I've got more of my sun. All right, so also notice these green X's on the image and wireframe. That indicates that you have a keyframe in there. So now that I have my picture where we want it to be at the end, I'm now going to hit the keyframing tool again, which is the diamond. So now I had a keyframe in the beginning. And I have a keyframe at the end. So if I go back and play it now, let me go back, let's watch it. Notice it's very slowly going from the zoomed in to the um, more wide angle of picture. And so that's what keyframing is. So in order to do that, once again to review, I put my cursor at the beginning of my clip. I resize my picture to where I wanted it to start. I hit the keyframing tool over here. And then I turned around and I put my cursor at the end of the clip. I resized it to where I wanted it to end, and I hit the keyframing tool again, once again over here. So that's how you do keyframing, also known as the Ken Burns effect. And um, it adds a little bit of pizzazz to your photos if you're doing some kind of a slideshow or if you add a still picture into one of your videos. That's all for now on keyframing.